Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general energy reading for the collective as part of the collective Christmas countdown. So um, we're on day 22, the 22nd of December, so only a few more days left until we get to Christmas Day, which is very exciting. Um, so these are general um, energy readings, so they can pertain to love. So if they do pertain to love, then I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind, etc. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best fits with your situation, but please do not make this story fit. So these are timeless readings as well. It's kind of whenever you come across this reading is where it's most likely going to resonate for you. Okay, so they're not specific to any zodiac signs or anything like that. It's just more on the lines of if this is your story type thing. Okay. So, let's get into this. The new um, weekly Zodiac readings are available on the channel for this Christmas week as well. And they are for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements as well. So if you fancied uh, checking those out, then they are available on the channel as well. Okay, so let's get into this. Angels of Love and Light, we place our clear, concise messages for the collective. What do they need to know today? Oh, straight out. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, okay. I feel like someone is in deep contemplation as of right now that they may have not given um, an offer to you in the past. And you could live at a distance with this person and they want to bring in peace with your connection or to your situation. Um, yeah, look at that with the star energy. Aquarius. This person wants to bring in, in peace and they want to work on the connection here with the Eight of Pentacles wanting to show itself. Yeah, this person wants to come back, come back to you here with the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Wands. This person's very much up in their head about the idea of coming forward towards you um, and kind of putting their hand out as it were, like reaching out to you with some sort of olive branch. This person sees that you've had some sort of glow up and they feel like you are a lot more confident and potentially they may feel like you're better off without them. Um, this person is really stressed because they know that they were unreliable in the past and incredibly immature and childish. And I feel like this really keeps this person up at night. It keeps this person up at night, unsure about how to actually be able to approach you now because they want to bring in some sort of stability, but potentially now they may feel like... Um, if they were to come back around, that you would just see them in a different way and that they're just trying to bring in chaos in your in your life and they're just frustrated with themselves but also they're frustrated at the situation with how they were treating you in the past but how things went. The sun energy, you could be dealing with a Leo. This, this light has been shown on a situation and I feel like this person doesn't like what they see yeah, look at that. Another page energy wanting to show itself with the page of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person is realising that they could have probably been quite self-centred and they're making plans to come forward towards you here with the two of wands. What else, please? Yeah, they feel like they can't approach you as of yet. Here with the cancer energy of the chariot, there's a block in them travelling to you. Um, there may even be travel restrictions. I'm getting that as well, potentially. Um, this person could even be having car trouble or something that's in the way that's making them feel like they can't travel to see you. Um, but I feel like it's not just the external block of having an issue to do with travel outside of themselves. I feel like they've got a block within them because they know that they want to come forward towards you. They want to come back around to approach you, but they know what they were like in the past. And so they want to take things slowly with you. And they need to be clear with their intentions, especially if they weren't in the past. Yeah, look, third party situation here with the three of cups in reverse. So they could have external influences as of right now, um, who may be kind of getting in the way. They may be trying to say other things like, oh, you shouldn't go towards this person, etc, etc. Like saying all sorts of stuff, but your, your person's defending you. So if there was anything malice in the past, like if anything had been said against you or if your person had done this and said to other people and put the blame on you for something because they were incredibly childish, 
they're actually now having to kind of bite the bullet and actually own up for the to the actual truth that it was them that was in the wrong and not you and now they're having to stand up to all these other people and just kind of defend your name i'm getting because look i mean you're not bothered like yours you're sitting here as this like kind of queen of wands energy you know looking out to whatever is going on around you following your intuition you're not making a move whatsoever you're just staying put you know that this other person's unsatisfied with whatever they're, they're going through yeah look at that you know that this person is blocked and that they're having to carry the burdens on their back here with the ten of wands wanting to come out and that they need to bring justice to you in their situation look at that with the libra card Potentially this person could even be going through a, a legal issue as of right now. And that could be another block as to why this person can't come back around towards you to balance the scales. Because they're having to heal from something else here with the Four of Swords in reverse. This person feels like, yeah, they're blocked. Look at that. They're blocked in coming forward towards you here with the Eight of Wands. They want to step up to the plate and actually not be in page energy anymore. They want to step up and show you that they can be the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. And we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this person was lying to themselves that potentially they were the one that actually had put in blocks in front of themselves. Um, as well as, as what's been going on around them as well. So... It's having that acknowledgement, taking accountability for one's actions, especially seeing that with the um, the Libra energy of the Justice card. Yeah, this person has this kind of realisation that they're incredibly emotionally unsatisfied and that they let you down due to the consequences of their past actions. And now they're getting judged on it here with judgement that they have to reflect on what they did on the past, correct what they did or are doing, in the present to therefore allow something more um, positive to happen with your connection in the future for a reconciliation for there to be healing for there to be brought some sort of peace and work to work together after a, a period of time where your person may have been unwilling to compromise or put in the effort or they've been dealing with other people who were like not putting in the effort with them they're having to let go of something most likely a breakup with another situation here with the lovers in reverse. You could be dealing with a Gemini. This person knows that they need to drop their guard when it comes to you. And this could be really testing their resolve because they could have difficulty with connecting with their emotions as well. Especially if they're quite a stubborn person. You may not see any of this that is going on with the Pisces moon. Um, you may feel like it's a complicated situation. But this person wants to fix things between you. Yeah, the secret is going to be revealed here with the moon being in reverse, Pisces, that they actually have love for you and they do care about you deeply and they want to heal the connection between the two of you. <clears throat> so we have Aquarius specifically, we have Cancer and we have Aries. We do have Earth on the table, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have Air Energy as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So let's look into why the star is here for today. Why is the star here for today? Yeah, this person wants to take a new leap of faith with you here, take a chance on love. With the fall, you could be dealing with an Aries quite strongly. Yeah, got Leo energy here with the strength coming out in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> this person is really quite unbalanced in their life. They may have been juggling you and somebody else potentially. They could have financial issues as of right now that they're trying to resolve. So they have a little bit of tension in their kind of material world. Um, they could be lacking financially, potentially as a result, as a as a result of how they treated you, especially if there's some sort of karmic cycle between the two of you. And it's not to say that you and then this person are um, karmic partners to each other, but you just have a, a cycle of karma together, a cycle 
um, and it's coming into a new phase of a, a, a relationship or situationship or friendship or whatever you want to call it. So, um, because obviously karmic can be thrown around quite a lot. So it's depending on who you're dealing with and the situation. But this person has been very confused about the connection. They were confused about another connection as well because they've been trying to leave an unhealthy relationship. Look at that with judgment, energy, Sagittarius, which again showing itself. This is to do with life lessons, it's to do with past lives, it's to do with karma, it's to do with um, karmic cycles, that type of thing. So this person is realising uh, you like taught them a lesson I'm getting with however they treated you and now they see you and they've had something that's happened in their life that didn't necessarily work out for them and now they're on the way back because they know that they need to heal something between the two of you because it's most likely unfinished business and now they want to have a second chance of re um, forgiveness I'm getting and a reconciliation so that's why they're coming forward towards you here with the knight of wands energy yet yeah, to apologize page of cups upright See, this person may have been so childish in the past, but they're having to grow up and mature to actually step into the emperor energy. Um, and they're now acknowledging that their behaviour from the past, and they may have purposely confused you as well, or they weren't very clear with their intentions, and now they need to um, be clear with their intentions. Because they know you are deserving of better, and so therefore they want to change things around. <clears throat> But potentially they have fear that you're not going to accept their apology here because they um, cause a load of imbalance in your life. And you may have put yourself at a distance from this person um, just because you weren't wanting to deal with the chaos. You didn't want your life to be up in the air, so you may have just separated yourself from this person. You know, this person wants to manifest something brand brand new with you they now see you um basically on a pedestal now they've put you up on a pedestal because they want to reconcile with you um and they know that what they need to do they know what changes they need to make and they're going to do that and so when this person comes back around they're going to exceed your expectations Com especially if you were to compare them to how they were before and how they will be approaching you um at like the next time you, you see them, they would have really changed. You're not going to be expecting this, but they, they would have really have changed. What else for the star, please? Can you tell us? Four of Cups in reverse. Yep, this person's on the way back to you here with the Six of Swords in reverse. You know, they physically and emotionally haven't been able to um, to let go of you here. They want to revive the connection between the two of you. They don't want to be where they were anymore. They want to bring something in between the two of you. Most likely this person knows that they um, really did hurt you in the past, especially if they lied um, or if they were deceptive anyway. But predominantly, I feel like this person was just lying to themselves because they were not accepting of um, of the connection between the two of you. But they, they want to change things around. They could have also been dealing with a, a karmic partner. Look at that with the devil coming out as I say that. So we have... Um, Capricorn energy and then the five of swords. So yeah, I'm feeling very strongly there was a third party interference here um, That this person's needing to heal Potentially for this bad karma that I said to you um, earlier And so that they've had to close out another situation before approaching you because um, It wouldn't be fair to bring in a load of imbalance Especially if they've got a load of chaos or what have you happening in their own kind of personal life here yeah, look at that with the Queen of Cups upright. So this person sees you as the Queen of Cups upright with the Queen of Wands upright. They know that you have this love and care for yourself. And they kind of want this nurturing and love and care from you as well. But, you know, it's like 
they need to be able to give that to themselves before coming towards you because they probably have some shadow aspects of themselves that they need to heal still before coming forward to approach you um, for a reunion here. Look at that with the four of wands upright. Yeah, they know what they need to do. They need to put the care and the attention into themselves before coming forward. But they, they have um, a lot more of a clearer idea about um, your connection now, especially if they didn't in the past. They certainly know of it now. Yes, why this person may feel like um, they're also scared to approach you because you may feel like they're still stuck in their ways from the past with the devil energy. Like they may be still stuck in their ego um, or they may be very prideful or potentially too prideful and childish to come forward towards you. Um, you may feel like, oh, this person hasn't changed or they're not going to change or what have you. So they want you to kind of change that kind of thought process to do with um, to do with them. And they feel like the only way they, they can change the image of who you have them in your ma mind as is if they were to show you by putting in the actions because they may have not done that in the past. So it doesn't matter what this person says, they have to change things with their actions not just with their words and i feel like this person's frustrated because they can't show you the actions as of yet because they have something else that they're having to be consumed by that they're waiting to close out here with the world upright with the four of wands upright first before having re this renewal of a connection with you here so you could be dealing with um, an aquarius a taurus a scorpio um, or a leo Let's look at the chariot card. There are other people who are going to be very jealous and envious of the connection that you and this person have together. Especially if you two start dating one another as well, because, and you've got this person to basically step up to the plate, like they changed because other people may have thought this person wasn't going to change or they may have accepted them as they were in the past and you didn't accept that. And so therefore this person's just like, wow, okay, well, if I actually genuinely want to be with this person who I feel this connection for, then they're not going to accept me to how I was in the past. So I genuinely have to change. So I have to, to make it right. If I'm going to have this union, look at that with the two of cups upright because there is love for you here. They want to take the mask off when it comes to you. They want to show you that you are worthy of a long-term commitment here with the Queen of Pentacles upright. I mean, I can't make it up, guys. This person sees your self-worth. They want to transform. They want to have a brand new um, beginning with you, something more stable and grounded. You know, every time we've talked about you, you've been an up upright queen here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Whoever they've dealt with in the past have just been, you know, reversals. They know that you and them didn't have the best of starts and now they want to tra change that because they miss you with the Two of Cups being in reverse. And they're unsatisfied without you here with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Why is the Chariot here, please, as a block? Yeah, because this person's needing to take the time to heal here with the Four of Swords. And to get in more in touch with their emotions here with the Queen of... Um, oh, wow, I said Queen of Cups. But it's the King of Cups. This person recognises you are the Queen of Cups to their King of Cups. And that's why they are stopping themselves from coming for forward towards you. Because they don't want to F it up, basically. They don't want to put on extra pressure in your connection. They want to take things slowly. Because they know it's probably not the right time to make massive changes as of right now to do with your connection because if they were to come forward towards you you may have some sort of disagreements and things may not be um you know fully right between the two of you but that's because there's been whatever has been going on in this connection yeah they're gonna be truthful and honest and come clean to you that <laughs> i mean guys that they have been stressed they're going to come clean to you here with the Seven of Swords being in reverse, that they want the long-term loyal commitment with you and that they've had sleepless nights knowing that you and them are meant to go together with the King and Queen of Pentacles upright wanting to show itself and that they weren't honest in the past and that they do have this love for you and that they were dealing, wow, 
with probably a baby mama or a baby daddy in the past or a mother figure or a father figure or someone else in their life who may have not agreed or liked the idea of your connection but this other third party they could have had something long term with and it didn't necessarily work out so they're having to close that if they were to have a reunion with you with this past life connection here with the six of cups upright and to have a traditional commitment with you eventually because they haven't been able to let you go and they know that they were selfish and they basically put a block in the way of your connection in the past and that they need to fix that now but they don't want to bring a load of drama in your life and they know here with the queen of cups coming out reverse that they need to heal another situation with most likely a karmic partner because they don't want to bring you in the mix of all the chaos and they're very much up in their head about this and other people are pretty much fighting for your person's attention as of right now because they are wanting and willing to change but not for them but for you more importantly more importantly themselves but you know you're like a like they they want to do it for you as well the chariot please so this person has to stay retreated from you as of right now until they're ready to come in with a union with the four of wands and then we've got four, four, and then four. So you could be seeing those numbers. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. It's going to happen in divine timing when it's ready to happen. The investment can't go ahead as of yet. So until that whatever has been fixed, whatever has been sorted, whatever has been resolved, and there's the breakthrough, that is when you're going to have the new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles being upright. And it's going to be concrete. And it's going to be something stable. Yeah yeah but they were most likely in something else that wasn't meant to stand the test of time in that they've been needing to leave and now they're gaining the truth and clarity about this now and that's exactly what they're doing so they're working on their finances to eventually have a reunion with you and get out of a third party situation um <laughs> because it's meant to be cycled out here with the world and most likely with a long-term karmic partner who they were dealing with that they had a long-term investment with But this is a very um, true soulmate connection between the two of you. Your judgment, um, judgment, I was just going to say, your judgment's been tested, but also the judgment of this person is being tested as of right now. They're dwelling on the past. That's why they need to overcome these certain hurdles in their life, which they will do eventually to get them out of the past so that eventually they can have forgiveness for themselves to then eventually come forward towards you to ask for forgiveness from you so that you and them could eventually have something more concrete look at that with the hierophant taurus energy yeah but this person's really overthinking it as of right now really overthinking it but they are definitely making plans they have not openly expressed this to you as of yet but they will do why is the Emperor here, please? Aries energy. Why is the Emperor here? Thank you. Yep, look at that. So, the Emperor. Ten of Swords, Death card, and the Knight of Cups. This person has most likely been stabbed in the back with another situation, but they also know that they probably stabbed you in the back at one point because of their immaturity in the past. And now they want to come forward towards you and they want to make it right because whatever has been going on in their life has had a massive knock on effect of unwanted changes. Um, I'm getting just setback after setback after setback until they kind of learnt their lesson. And now they're realising that they need to drastically change their ways if they were to come forward towards you with some sort of open heart. Um, but they need to get out of their head about this and that's what they're trying to do with the Eight of Swords in reverse. They need to release themselves from an unhappy situation, most likely as well, so that they could have the reconciliation with you. But they want to communicate to having a reconciliation with you. And they know that they didn't do this in the past. Um, and you may have um, thought that you couldn't trust this person here with the lovers being in reverse, with the Gemini energy, and set firm boundaries with them with the Queen of Swords upright. And now you're only going to accept the truth from this person and they want to come forward towards you and give you the truth. But um, you may have 
have reservations still. One more for the Emperor. Oh gosh, all the cards just want to jump out of my hand. Look at that. And that's why they want to jump out of my hand because bottom of the deck, what we don't see, this person knows that you and them are meant to be together. They do. They know that you and them are meant to be a pair. They know that you and them are meant to reconcile. They know that you and them are meant to be, have equal give and take. They know your worth and they recognise your worth, but they are also recognising their own self-worth by dealing with whatever they've needed to deal with to eventually admit it to themselves that they are worthy of better, that they are deserving of better, and that they need to come forward towards you and be better. And that's what they want to do. And that's eventually what they're going to open up and tell you in at the right time. You don't see it now, but this person is getting enlightened that they want to balance out and have a new connection with you because they felt sad and they want you and them to have a brand new chapter and move on away into a brand new love together here. After a long time of not work, putting in the effort. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Sagittarius. This person knows that your reunion or union is delayed as of right now. It's postponed, so there can't be the celebrations of your connection. Um, but they haven't been open and honest and told you the fact that they, they love you here. But I feel like you kind of know that this person loves you. And that they want something more stable and something more concrete between the two of you. And that they want to heal the connection. They want to balance things out. Um, but it's down to this person to make the move. So you don't do anything. You just carry on doing what you're doing. Okay? So, wow, I feel knackered now. <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of the reading. Our Empress energy is also Taurus and Libra. And funnily enough, we're actually in the Venus retrograde as of right now. So that could be worthwhile to look up as well. Um, I feel like those, that, that kind of the next six weeks will probably affect your second and your seventh house. Um, so it might, be, it might be worth looking into that, okay guys, and see how that makes a difference. Um, but I feel like there's most likely some sort of reconciliation of this partnership potentially in the next six weeks which could be really quite fascinating okay so anyway guys i hope that you have um, enjoyed the reading if you did please like share and subscribe leave us a comment i greatly appreciate it um, if you did enjoy the reading hitting that like button makes a huge difference to the channel and um, it really just does help like get the messages out there to people who may need to see these messages at this time also, I hope that you have a very good day and we'll potentially see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.